Hi everyone and welcome to another English 10 video. In today's video, I'm going to talk you through the topic exploration assignment, which you see on the screen right here. Now, a part of this assignment is going into some of the databases that the school has access to. And the reason why we do this is because the databases tend to be more reliable than necessarily just going on Google and searching for that. That doesn't mean you can't use Google, but it just means that the sources that you find on Google can sometimes be a little less reliable and a little less trustworthy than say something that you find off of a scientific database. So first and foremost, hopefully you kind of have an idea of what your topic is and what your question is. If you still don't know what your topic and question are, make sure you go back to some of the previous worksheets and make sure you talk to your teacher about what topic is appropriate for your inquiry research. But starting with looking for the databases, we're going to go to the MHS homepage. And then in here, you're going to click on for students. So that section up here. Now you're going to go to the library homepage and that'll take you to another website. And the place that we want to go to is specifically over here in, where is it? I always have to take a moment to scroll through this to find exactly where I need to go. Um, is it up here? Right here, subscription databases. So you can see all the databases by subject right here up in the top. Now, one of my favorite places to go to right away when I'm doing research is I actually really like the website JSTOR because to me, JSTOR just has like so much of everything. And now you're going to see that I can try to look stuff up, but without an account, I won't be able to actually read anything. So we're going to have to log in right here. And the way that you log in is you actually have access to a document right here where you can copy and paste the username and password for JSTOR. So if I scroll down to JSTOR, I'll see it's right here, that the username is Cardinals and the password is MHS library. So I'm gonna go type that in really quick. So then I can log in and there I am. I'm all logged in, I think. So now we can type in my topic. So maybe my topic is um, like, what's a good topic to do? I'll do something related to psychology because I'm kind of interested in psychology sometimes. So why, what is fear? So I'm just going to type that in. Maybe that's one of my research questions that I want to use. Um, and let's say I find an interesting article that I might want to read. Fear of difference, space of risk, and anxiety in violent settings. The only thing we have to fear is fear-based politics. Ooh, that sounds kind of interesting, especially during this time of political, you know, all this political fighting happening. So I wanna, I'm gonna click on that one. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so you can see that because I logged in, I have access to reading the whole article. And it's a pretty short one. This one's a four pager. So maybe this might be one that I actually really like and that I want to stick with. So if I really like this one, what I'm going to do then is I want to make sure that I actually can cite this one. So usually on the left side over here, you'll see this button that says cite this item. And if you click on that, it'll give it directly to you in APA or sorry, not APA, we want MLA right here, right at the top. So I'm gonna press the copy button right there and it says copied, so I know that I've got it. And then back over here in my topic exploration sheet, I can actually put that directly in right here. So just paste it directly there. Oh, you know, I don't have edited, I just realized that this is not my own copy of it, so I can't paste it there, but on your own copy, you would be able to paste it there. And then um, as you're kind of reading and skimming it through, you would just pull out one or two quotes that you think are, you know, kind of more important. Maybe they might be some facts or some statistics. We'll learn more in class about what kind of quotes that you want to be pulling out of these. But that's the process for how you would access some of the databases. There are lots of different databases for you to try, as you can see right here. The Gale Student in Co 
our student resources in context is also an excellent website to try out. And you also have access to all of these news websites as well. And current events tends to be a pretty reliable source, especially when it's a really big publisher like the New York Times. So definitely check out those resources and they're going to be super helpful in you to narrowing down your research topic or even guiding you to the next topic if you've discover that, you know, maybe you started with fear as your topic, but maybe you find out that you actually want to do politics and how fear plays into politics. So if you have any questions, make sure that you reach out to your English 10 teacher. Thank you for watching, y'all.